Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. Look what I have today. I have a Diamond Art Club unboxing. I'm reading it upside down. Do what makes you sparkle. Sparkle you makes what do, right? Okay, so we're going to get into this uh, because I'm super excited to see what it is. I believe I know what it is, but if you saw the amount of boxes on my bed... Um, that I had to move out of the way so I could film this unboxing, then you would um, understand my predicament. So, let me get into this. Uh, struggle for a minute, obviously. Uh, sorry if I'm shaking you all over tarnation, but it is what it is. And I have a... Diamond painting. And I have a little, uh, the little, uh, what do you call it? Like, label thing inside the box. But anyway, this is a Diamond Art Club. So, it's been a minute since I've done a DAC unboxing. So, for all of the newbie people that have may, may have shown up here at the channel, just, um, gonna go over some things in case you're new and maybe new to DAC, uh, Diamond Art Club, okay? So, Diamond Art Club is probably, um, at the moment, my, my most favorite diamond painting company, okay? I just, I, I love DA, we call them DAC for short, but anyway. Um, when you order a diamond painting from DAC, the boxes will come with this little, uh, label-y kind of thing here, and it will, this one here tells you that it is a square diamond painting. See the word square diamonds? This means that the diamonds inside um, this kit are square shaped, okay? So, um, but yeah, so it's easy to identify quickly and right fast, quick, and in a hurry that this is a square versus a round. If it's a round square, or a round square, if it's a round drill diamond shape, then this would be a pink circle. And it would say round diamonds, okay? All right, so this one that I have to share with you today is Bunny and Flower Pot by Susan Winget. She's one of my favorite, like, folksy, um country sort of artists um but here as you can see it says square the size is a 51 by 71 centimeter which is a really good size for me i love that size um just because it lays on my desk easy i don't have to manipulate it move it around too much um so i like the size of this canvas so let's pull the plastic off throw that over there in the floor <laughs> so that I'll have to pick it up in a minute um, and then we'll get into the box here so ooh, looky here this is my first ever new toolkit so um, pretty recently well within the last few months Diamond Art Club has uh, sort of transitioned over to a new upgraded toolkit um, which comes with every single diamond painting. Um, I mean, a toolkit comes with all your diamond paintings, right? But what I'm saying is, is that when you purchase a DAC canvas, because they're still in transition, you may get an older toolkit or you may get an updated new toolkit. So this is the first one I have unboxed with a new toolkit. So I'm excited to get into it and see what the contents are. We get a little sticker here that you can put on your box for quick reference. Um, or you can put it in a log book if you do that. If you log all of your diamond paintings. Okay, the box is empty. So, I like to put these on the ends of my box uh, based on how I like stack them in my um, stash. <laughs> of diamond paintings. So let's first look at this toolkit. I'm super excited about this. The bag is different. It's um, 
different bag. Here it tells you what the toolkit contents are. Um, let's get into it. Oh, this is exciting. Very exciting. Ooh, looky here. I get a hot pink diamond painting pen. Well, kind of purple. Purple, hot pink. Um, usually they're white. Um, sometimes um, blue or pink. Um, but never usually this like sparkly. It's got sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But anyway. Um, and then we have some tweezers. These are, I was hoping to get a pair of the pink tweezers because they've been having some pink like ombre tweezers. Hopefully I'll have that in another box, but uh, it is branded here and it's a sharp, very sharp tweezers. I like to keep the plastic uh, cap on that. And, ooh, looky here. Lots of good stuff. Baggies, a multi-placer, and I uh, believe that's it. So, we get some washi tape. Look how pretty this is. It's fancy looking washi tape. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Love that. Washi tape is always very handy to have in this craft, if you're not already aware of that. And we get some diamond or some baggies to put our extra spare diamonds in if we want to. A pretty rose shaped, ooh, not dropped it. Rose shaped cover minder. It's super pretty. Look how pretty that is. I love that. It's got the magnets on the back. So super nice cover minder. If you're new and don't know what a cover minder is, basically when you're working on your canvas, it has a plastic cover on the top of it. And when you're working on it, sometimes that plastic cover can get on your nerves and um, it kind of gets in your way or whatever. And so I like to pull the plastic back, put uh, this on top of the canvas and the other magnet on the bottom of the canvas. And it just holds your plastic cover back out of the way. That's why they're called cover minders. Okay, and then let's see what we have next. We have a couple multi-placers. I think we get a seven-placer and a four-placer. They're thin ones. Those are the most popular. People like those a lot. Ooh, neat little caddy wax. Kind of a matte, clear. I've not seen this before. Oh, I'm super fumbly today. But look, we get two heart shapes of wax here. And uh, I love these little caddies. They're great also for like storing trash drills in. Um, handy dandy. And then you get a little squishy here. Now you all know what these are. We remember these from like elementary school, right? But they just go onto the end of your pen like so, so that when you're diamond painting, it's more comfortable. You don't get like the little lumpy bumpy right there like we all used to get. And then the tray is upgraded too. Check out this tray. It's clear, super clear with pretty gold speckles in it. It's a little bit bigger than the other tray and it comes with a stopper. And what a stopper is, is it goes on the end like that of your uh, tray to keep, so when you shake your diamonds like this, they don't go spilling out here. So that's handy dandy. I like that. I like the tray a lot. I'll, I'm gonna give that tray a go. So that's it for the new, for this particular toolkit. I'm super pumped. Let's put these goodies back in here and let's get a look at the canvas, okay? I'm going to put the uh, cover minder over here on my little camera arm. It's where I keep minders. Uh, so yeah, super, super fun, super fun, super fun, super fun, super fun. All right. Tweezers back in the job. Okay. 
close it up and set this to the side. One thing about those tweezers though, if you get the sharp ones like that, with which comes with Diamond Art Club, make sure to keep that cap on there if you have kids or animals because they will stab your eyeballs out. Okay, so let's get into here. We have our little plastic dust cover. And we have our canvas. If you've never had a Diamond Art Club canvas, wow, it's always so super soft. And um, the good thing about their canvases also are that uh, they roll out nice and flat really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out upside down just because I'm gonna let it relax for a minute. And while we do that, we will look at these other little goodies. And put my scissors away. So they have a new um, little brochure kind of pamphlet thing that comes in your kit. Um, that is pretty cool. It gives you, it tells you here what's included in your kit. You get your contents. And then they have some tips and tricks that you can use. Also down at the bottom is a 10% off your next purchase code. Uh, so save you some money, money, honey on your next order. Um, take a look here for our step-by-step -step video instructions. That's super cool. So apparently you can like scan this with your phone and it'll take you to the website and give you some like step-by-step -step tricks if you're a newbie newbie. Oh, and you can also scan this to be sent by, by your phone to their VIP Facebook group. I love the VIP Facebook group. Um, they share a lot of really cool stuff in there. I like it a lot. And then here, if you don't want to go visit the WWW, um, then you can just use these instructions. There you go. Very easy peasy. Okay. Um, and then on the back, ooh, here we go. Inspiration is just a few steps away. Here it says 20% off your first purchase through the app. Nice. So if you download the app, you can get 20% off your order. Nice. I like to save money. Money, money, honey. Okay, so here, Bunny in the Flower Pot by Susan Winget. Look at this little cutie patootie. Isn't it cute? I love the daisies, the little bird, the little, are these like pansies? Is that what those are? I'm not sure. The little terracotta flower pots or clay pots, but cute little bunny bunny. And then those, I'm not sure what kind of flowers those are. I'm not great at flower names, but anyway, this one has 54 colors. Um, and the really cool thing about DAC now is they're, they've started, can you see how that just peels up individually? They've got individual labels now, so you can put these on your storage containers, nice and easy. This one here has one, two, three, four ABs, and the way that I can see that is anything that is below 150 in the DMC color code is an AB. So 161 is over the 150, so we know that that is not an AB. They usually always have their ABs up at the top. Um, so I like that. Ooh, that's a new symbol. I don't know that I've seen that one before. The rest of them seem to be normal symbols. So yeah, 54. Okay, so we are going to now flip this little bad boy over and take a look at it. I might have to adjust my camera so you can see all the things. Okay, let's do this. Oh, look at it. Okay, let me zoom you out. Let me zoom you out. Okay, I'm gonna turn it at the different angle so that you can see it nice and clear take a look at it i know it's sideways but you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do but look at that isn't it so cute 
Oh my gosh, I love it. So you get a legend here on the top left and another legend over here on the bottom right. Um, and then you have your information down here at the bottom um, with the little thumbnail image of it. But it gives you all the information. It gives you the name, it gives you the size, the artist, where it's from. And then at the top, always, of course, is the Diamond Art Club logo that says, do what makes you sparkle or sparkle you mo Sparkle you makes what do, right? Okay, sorry, I had to be a little bit extra, extra, extra. So um, this is super cute. I love it. I love, love, love this. I've got three or four other canvases by the same artist and it's all the same kind of feel, you know? I just really love her artwork. Um, I do, I do, I do. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, this would have been a fun one to work up for Easter, but I didn't get to it in time. So, uh, but it's still a really pretty one for spring, summer. Um, I'm already starting to see the rabbits running around outside my house. How about you? Um, we'll zoom you back in for a minute so you don't see a nightstand over there. Okay, so um, we are going to, I'm going to zoom way in so you can see the symbol clarity here. You can see how clear their symbols are. It's never fuzzy. I never, ever have issues with like blurry or fuzzy symbols. I can almost get away with not having to use a light pad um, on any of them. However, because of my eyes and my eyesight issues, I do tend to always still use a light pad. Look at the bunny's eyeball. There's his ear. He's so cute. Them little paws. Oh, them little feet. And then we have this sweet little bird. Look at that bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet lady. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back out. Um, and we're going to kind of go over it um, and take a look <clears throat> at some of where the ABs go, okay? But you can see, look at this basket. You can see the texture of the weaving in the basket here. This little flower pot is turned over sideways, you know, and this little bird is like, I wonder if that bird has made that little flower pot its little hangout spot to, to taunt the rabbit and and such. But look at the grass. You can see the grass has a lot of texture to it. Um, the shading here on the flower pots is really good. I love this gingham. Um, this gingham, I don't know if that's like a, uh, like an old towel or maybe, um, you know, something like that. Something like a towel or tablecloth. I don't know. Um, but, and you get these beautiful flowers here. And then these flowers up here is so pretty. I love the colors. I love the shape. This one right here hasn't bloomed yet. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, let's take a look. I'm going to see if this is, uh, okay, up here in the sky, there's a lot of like color blocking sections. Um, that's really only a couple of different colors in the sky. So that's pretty good, all that background. Um, the flowers are confetti-ish. Uh, same with these flowers. Um, not super heavy confetti, but confetti-ish. Um, the bunny rabbit is nice little color blocking sections of brown shades in his ear. Um, and the flower pots are nice color blocking chunks. Um, the grass is, you know, kind of confetti-ish. And these little pansies or whatever these flowers are, um, not too heavy confetti. So, I mean, it's a good for, for those of you that like color blocking and uh, confetti, you know, when you get bored with color blocking and you want to do some confetti vi and vice versa, you know, then this, if, if this is your style, then you'll really love working on this one. I feel like, because 
the uh, ratio of um, color blocking and huh, confetti is a fun one. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up these drills, okay? Um, just because I want to see them, I want to show you guys them, and because I want to find the ABs, okay? Another cool thing, they label their drills in case you um, separate your drills from your canvases. Some people do that. I don't, but if you do, you'll know which one this goes to, which diamond painting this goes to. All right. One more thing I want to note before um, we move on to the drills is um, here you'll see these scalloped edges and they are um, got all these little holes in them here. Um, so this creates a nice little seam so that it keeps it from uh, fraying on the edges. Um, I really like that a lot. So that keeps it nice and um, clean around the edges. Some of those budget-friendly places, um, they'll tend to fray around the edges a little bit. And sometimes, you know, depending on wear and tear on them, especially while you're diamond painting, they can, you know, shed quite a bit. So, eek. okay. So let's go ahead and open these up. I'm just going to arrange them. Look how pretty and neat and tidy they put those in that bag. I'm like, yeah, mine never looks like that. Okay, so um, with the AC, you get these big long trains of um, drills. So uh, we have here some 3346, and we have some 3325, some 3756, some 3776. Some 434, some 775, some 937, some 301, some 436, 300. Oh, bag stuck to that. And then here's our first AB. Look how pretty. It's a blue, very pretty blue shade. Um, and the, the DMC on that one is 101. But look how pretty that is. Super pretty. There's quite a bit in this bag. Nice. Okay. And then we have some 471, 898, and 935. Okay. Next train here we have some 935, some 437. 433, 741, that looks like the powder in your Kraft Mac and Cheese. You know, some 975, some 334, 934, 402, 3855, 739, 310, that one little teensy weensy little bag of 310. Wow, that's nice. 738. 351, 3328, 131. This is our second AB. It's kind of a deep yellow, light orange ish kind of craft macaroni and cheese. Kind of orangey looking. You know what I mean? But it's 131. And there's a nice little, for this size of canvas, I feel like that's a good amount of ABs, even the blue ones. So that makes me happy. Um, 3770, 3854, 3371, 900, and 400. Okay, and we get some 169 and some 119. This is our third AB. Is it our third or fourth? I don't remember. Um, but 119, it's a purple. 
very pretty. Again, a nice amount uh, for this bag, I feel like, or for this canvas size, I feel like. 413, 161, 100. Okay, here we go. This is our fourth one, and this is like a light green, um, uh, kind of like a smashed pea baby food kind of color, you know, but that's really pretty. 3864, 720, 550, 209, 3799, 648, 327, 743, 977, 353, 322, 927, 938, 3837, 3842. And then lastly, we have these two bags of 435. Okay. So that's it for the drills. Now let's take a look really quick at where these ABs are going to go. Set these off to the side. The first little um, here, this 119, the purple, purple AB is um, 119 on the canvas here is the symbol three. So let's look right here. So these petals here, these purple petals are gonna have a lot of that purple AB in it here and here. And then also um, a little bit here. Oh, can you even see where I'm at? Can you even see where I am? Hold on a minute. Okay, here and then here, here and here. Um, the only other purple spots that I see off the top of my head are um, right up here. So we have some more here, here, here. Um, so not, not a lot of spots, but there's not a lot of purple in this. So there we go. Okay. The next one, let me find another one is this green, which is the 100. Um, is the symbol one. So let's take a look. Um, 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 um. Okay, I see some ones down here in the grass. Just a little bit there. Um, and here, here. Um, one, 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 one. Okay, here in the leaves of these daisies, there are some ones. Um, over here in this little pod um, that's getting ready to sprout, we have some. We have some over here in this flower section right there, um, and then just kind of spring sprinkled throughout there. So that's pretty cool. The next AB color that we have is where did it go? Where did it go? This 131, which is the um, bowl of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Uh, 131 is the symbol four. And right off the bat, I see some of that AB here in these pans. I keep calling them pansies. I hope they're pansies. If they're not, correct me in the um, comments. So... Uh, but yeah, fours here and in the other ones here, these golden colors. Um, we have some in the center part of this daisy, which, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the center parts of all of these daisies, it looks like we're going to have some fours. Okay, maybe not all of them, but most of them. There's some in that one, that one, this one, and this one. And then over here... In this section, we have some sprinkled throughout these flowers. Um, it looks like this one here in the corner, all of this darker edging is going to be that, that golden 
color AB. So that's very cool. Okay, last but not least is the purple one. This is the 119 AB. It's like a gray ape kind of purple. So that one is symbol three. Wait, 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 did I already do that one? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm looking for the blue one. Okay, that's the one I haven't done. Sorry. Okay, here we go. 101 is this blue. I was thinking, wait a minute. I already saw ABs in those flowers. So the blue one is the symbol two on the canvas here. So let's take a look. Um, the blue symbol two. Let's see. Okay, here at the bottom of the wing of this little pretty bird. We have some in its wings up here. We have some of that blue in the shadowing of this daisy. We have lots of the blue ABs that's gonna be in this gingham um, little whatever this thing is here. I don't know. It's for decoration, obviously, but I mean, like, did she, is it supposed to be like an old towel or an old you know, um, flower sack kind of material. I don't know, but it's super cute. And, uh, I love that it has this blue gingham in it, but it has a lot of those blue ABs in it sprinkled throughout the whole thing in all of the plaid. Um, and then we have still yet a lot of the blue in a lot of the blue shading of these. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit more so you can see there's a lot of blue ABs in the daisies um, in the shadowing outer edges. So I really like that. Can you see all those twos? Lots of twos. Here there's a lot of twos in there. Um, and then we have some twos up here in this edge of the basket handle. So yeah, there's a lot of twos in this one. A lot of blue. I like that a lot. So, um, all right, guys. I believe we've covered everything. So I'm gonna zoom you back out. And uh, I'm excited. Did anyone else get this one? Let me know in the comments if you got this canvas. Um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts about it and what you think. So, or if you got it. Um, but yeah, that's it, you guys. I'm going to put this goodness up and um, probably get ready to do another unboxing since I have so many over there that are staring at me saying, unbox me, unbox me, unbox me. So, all right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by and watching this. Um, and make sure to Hit the thumbs up if you did like the video. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. Either way is fine with me. Um, but if you're new here, make sure to subscribe if you like the video. And if you subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. To get notified the next time I upload another video. All right? Or go live. I go live on Thursday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. Small plug. All right. That's it. You guys have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your week. Stay safe. And... Bye.